Hey guys, check it out. We have the all new Traxxas sledge. So uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get this thing all open for you guys. We're gonna go over to our little bench over there and get this thing all open, show you guys everything in the box, like unboxing it and all that good stuff. Then we got the batteries charging right now. We're gonna go rip this thing up. So stay tuned, you guys. This thing is, this thing's sick. We're gonna be hitting some fat jumps with this thing. So let's get it. Okay, you guys, I've been waiting long enough. Let's get this thing open. We got our trusty uh, neon green unboxing knife. Let's get this sweet freaking right open. And it is red, I believe. Yeah, hang on, let's just show you around the show you around the box real quick. So there's the different colors you can get. It looks like green laser, brilliant blue, velocity orange, and ours is Traxxas red. Uh, 70 miles an hour, 6s, 22 plus volts. It's a pretty sweet box. Traxxas, pretty uh, Traxxas has been always been pretty persuasive with their uh, boxes, always really making them shine. But got our Traxxas remote. Heck yeah. Traxxas honestly has like some of the nicest remotes for... Wow, you guys. Woo! Oh, you guys. Sorry, I just got a glimpse of it. This thing's bad. Oh, man. This thing is huge. You guys ready? Are you guys ready? I don't think you guys are ready. Oh, look at that anodizing. That's so sick. This thing is completely anodized. Let's get this box. Oh, this thing's so bad. You guys seeing this? Hang on. Let me get the microwave out of the shot. Jeez, gosh. Look at this thing, you guys. This thing's freaking crazy. How do I... How do I get the body off? What in the world? Look at this wing. Man, this thing's so pretty. I don't even want to mess it up. Shoot. Traxxas, you made this thing too pretty. This thing's so sick. Oh, she sound. Just, just, you know how it makes the clicking noise when you roll it? That's how you know it's going to be fast. All right, we got to figure out how to take this body off, though. There's like, there's got to be like a quick release, I'm thinking. They usually do that kind of stuff with these bodies. Be nice to know where it's at. Dun -na. Uh -huh. Dun -na. Well, we'll figure it out in a second. Get out of the light for you guys, but what do you guys think? This thing pretty sick looking. I think it's pretty sick. These wheels are huge. This thing looks mean. Like a mean machine. Okay guys, let's go ahead and get this body off. This thing has the best body clip setup ever. Just come back here. Boom. Just forward. Just like so. Boom. This body's got some weight to it, though. Jeez, this must be the mounting setup, but yeah. All the mounts. Check out all this anodizing. They went crazy with it, you guys. Look at that. That's a that's like a soda can motor. That thing's huge. But uh, yeah. Look at these guards too. Let's see those huge tracks this guy's on. Let's see them. Look at those. Suckers are beefy. But yeah. Also, uh, a couple of things I've heard about these cars is so. Hang on, let me move you guys real quick. So on the battery tray, slides up like that, and you put your two batteries in, and you close this. There's a little, uh, two little slots right here for uh, body clips. You need to put body clips in these because if not, apparently this comes loose. And you will lose your batteries. So I'll just go ahead and put a, a body clip in each, and you'll be ready to go. And then also, one more thing is the engine mounts right here. One, two, three, four. I think that's what it is. Yeah. The engine mounts, uh, these come loose, so you just want to go ahead and take these off and throw some Loctite in them. I mean, it depends how bad you're going to be beating on it, but 
that's just, I would recommend to do that. Look at these A-arms, you guys. Jeez. These things are freaking huge. Check out the suspension, though. Super nice. That wing, though. Straight out of the Batmobile or something. But, uh, oh, wow. Man. Traxxas has come a long way. It's crazy. Okay, we're going to go ahead and uh, look over it a little bit. Uh, see if there's anything I need to talk to you guys about. And yeah. Okay, guys, look at the clearance on this thing. That's crazy. That's, yeah, that's more than the Brenthal Low C Super Baja Ray. This thing just looks so burly. I mean, yeah, this thing's going to fly. We're going to make this thing fly today, you guys. If you guys watch the video Super Baja Ray, that ain't nothing compared to how high this thing's going to fly. But, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, get those batteries charged up and just get straight to ripping this thing. I don't even want to wait. Let's get it going. These are some huge shocks, though, because this, this thing is 8th scale. So, you know, they got some beefy shocks on there. But even, even for 8th scale, those shocks are huge. But I uh, know the servo looks nice. Everything looks pretty well built on this thing. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, get those little problems fixed. And then we're going to go ahead and shred this thing. So stay tuned. Okay, guys, now that we got that all wrapped up, we just got to wait for the last battery charge, and we're going to go rip this thing up. Uh, yeah, this thing just... Honestly, if you have the money to go buy one of these, just by looking at it, all I have to do is look at it and know this thing's going to be in insane, which, I mean, a lot of you, probably the same thing. If you have the money to buy this thing, go buy it. I mean, Horizon, Horizon Hobby got so mad because it's probably so good that they're suing them over it. Yeah, Arma's suing Traxxas because Traxxas stole their design, I guess. But if anyone knows anything about RC car brands, I mean, they're pretty much all the same besides, like, little things. So. But, yeah, anyways. Look at that. Look at that. that. thing's way cooler than an Arma. Come on, Horizon Hobby. Really? You guys are that petty, huh? Anyways, yeah. Let's go rip this thing up. I am I'm ready. I'm so ready. You guys, looks like the battery just got all finished up, so let's get these freaking things in there and get to ripping. Let's get it. Okay, you guys, a uh, little bit of technical difficulties, aka, and I put the batteries, or I'm dumb and I put the batteries in the uh, wrong way, so it wasn't working, but we got that all fixed. This thing is so insane, you guys. This thing is those wheelies. Oh my god. Okay, let's let's uh, take this thing in the dirt. GoPro all dialed up. Let's get it going.
defeated, you guys. We broke the arm right in half. Rest in peace. That didn't age very well, you guys. We done did snap. They're pretty good. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. So we didn't just break. So we broke an A-arm. Look at that, you guys. We broke the top shock mount. Holy hell. We tatered this thing, you guys. Oh, my God. That's so great. Freaking nice. I think that's it. Yeah, she is smoked. Okay, you guys, so uh, I was going to give this thing a 10 out of 10 rating until uh, we were just driving it for the last little bit and had a bit of a mishap, if I do say so myself. Um, yeah, I'd say she's pretty broken. Snapped the arm pretty good. Pretty much obliterated the arm. <laughs> you know, I don't... When I saw these arms, I was like, yeah, this thing going, this thing going to take a beating. Yeah, not really. Uh, hey, but we did break the caps, but they're already making those in metal, so we'll definitely be buying those for upgrades. Uh, RPM, come on, you guys. New plastic arms, please. This is the first drive. I mean, whoa, is that supposed to be split? Oh, okay, that's supposed to be like that. But yeah, no. Didn't age too well for uh, the first drive. Yeah. Thing's stupid fast, though. Super fun. It's an awesome car. Just could use uh, some stronger RPM A-arms if you guys are watching this. Get them going right now. I don't care how strong these things look. They're not strong. Well, they're strong, but they're only so strong. I think what... So what happened the low C Baja Ray from Horizon Hobby would have taken it. So Traxxas, come on. Come on you guys. Let's get let's get let's get with the program. This thing was like 900 bucks. Broke it first drive. But anyways, uh, no, it's a sick car though. It's 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 so fun. Um, things insanely fast. Uh, does it does 70 miles an hour for sure. Uh, yeah. No. And it takes a good beating. I'll give it that. But, you know, stuff happens. I know that. I mean, it, it probably hit it, like, perfectly. I think I just landed on the cinder block or something, and it, it just snapped it so perfectly. Landed right on the A-arm, probably. So it just snapped it right off. And probably the sheer force of it going up probably just ripped the top of the uh, shock cap off. Not that that should happen, but, you know, I'm not saying this thing isn't good. This thing is awesome. Uh, you know, and... I'm here to test stuff. So we were testing it, and the test got it got surpassed. So, but no, it's it's an awesome car, you guys. Uh, I don't know if it's worth nine hundred dollars. That's kind of a hefty price tag for an eight scale car, but it is fun. Um, it's probably one of the coolest eight scale cars on the market. And yeah, and by the way, Arma, why are you guys suing Traxxas? Really, you guys that immature? Come on, like. Seriously, I mean, your guys' car is not near as cool as this thing. So why are you guys suing? Come on now. But, uh, no. This thing's sick. Uh, the body? Hey, let's talk about this body. This body can take a beating. It's nothing like the old X-Max bodies. This thing actually can take a beating. Love the quick release setup. Super sick. Coolest body design out of any company so far, so. Good job on that track. There's all the blue anodizing, too. Amazing. So sick. Uh, the motor wicked fast almost probably too fast for you these tires you'll see in the video which you've already seen probably if you're still watching they get like this tall crazy look at these shock towers i mean look at look at how beefy that shock tower is that's yeah but there are weak points which this thing just came out so i'm not surprised that they're already breaking they'll probably re-engineer it make it better but uh yeah no it's a pretty sweet ride we're gonna have to go ahead and order some metal ramps get this thing fixed and really freaking send this thing. I want to send this thing like 100 feet in the air. So stay tuned for some crazy stuff. I'm actually going to take this thing to a skate park as soon as uh, I get it fixed. So hopefully we can get those parts in pretty quick. I know these things just came out, but I think uh, our local hobby shop, they had a bunch of parts in stock. So we'll see if they had an A-arm and a shock cap. But yeah, no, Traxxas. I love it. 
it's sick. Uh, if you guys are watching this, great, great car. Um, prize and hobby, get with the program, quit suing people. But uh, yeah, no. Just because Horizon Hobby, just because you guys don't own Traxxas, doesn't mean you need to sue them. I know you own every other RC car company on the planet, okay? Leave Traxxas alone. And Team Associated. I think Team Associated is the, the only other one that isn't owned by you guys, so leave them alone. Quit picking on them. But no, Traxxas, good job. Other than that, you guys, I think that's going to go ahead and end today's video. This thing's sweet. I recommend it if you have the money freaking do it buy it coolest eight scale truggy whatever you want to call this thing just yeah buy it if you have the money but uh yeah other than that that concludes the uh video thank you guys for watching please smash that like button smash that subscribe button you guys and be ready to see this thing hit the skate park but other than that the video is over and i will see you guys tomorrow peace